Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. I love jewelry that is dainty, that's gold and timeless. And so there's a couple of places where I shop to fill out my collection. If you are a lover of dainty jewelry as well, then keep watching this video as I share with you guys my jewelry collection. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. always been a lover of jewelry but back in the day I just did not have the funds to create a timeless jewelry collection so a lot of the jewelry pieces that I did purchase were um, costume jewelry you know the ones that you got at Forever 21 or those type of stores but as I evolved my wardrobe I wanted to have pieces that kind of reflected myself rather than constantly buying new jewelry I just wanted pieces that I could go to that were good not too expensive because we trying to be on a budget um, but something that still looked nice it's taken me about a year to create this collection. I personally love gold jewelry, so the majority of my jewelry is gold, specifically gold vermel, vermeil, vermeil, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sterling silver with a plated gold around it. This just helps it to be more durable, it helps it to last longer, it just has um, the scratch resistant type of thing on it as well. It's decently priced, so it's something that I gravitate towards whenever I'm looking for jewelry. Another thing I'll mention in terms of keeping your jewelry pieces up to date, there are a few things that you want to do to care for them. So the first thing is, of course, removing your jewelry whenever you're washing your hands or applying um, moisturizer. The moisturizer does break down kind of like the plate that's on it, and so you'll see your jewelry start to fade a lot quicker. The second thing I recommend doing is not wearing them when you're in the shower. Now you can wear these in the shower if you want, but if you want your jewelry to last even longer, try to avoid doing so. Same thing goes with working out or sleeping because the sweat will also break down the jewelry pieces as well, specifically for the vermel. The next thing has to do with storage. Make sure that you store your jewelry in a nice air flowing space, someplace that's not moist, somewhere that is dry. So for me, I have mine in an armoire. This one I got from Pure One a long time ago and it's what I use to store my jewelry to this day. And the last thing to mention has to do with cleaning. I like to clean my jewelry at least once a month, but I'm lazy and sometimes it ends up being two months at a time but whatever as long as you are keeping up with cleaning and all that you need is just some soap and water and it will keep them looking good to go just make sure that they dry properly so that's enough about that let's get on to the jewelry pieces so the first one is a watch that I've talked about maybe a year ago or so this is Capitola they have some really nice inexpensive watches so what I love about them is that they have this little gold band around them they're just really simple and timeless I don't wear a watch every single day but when I do want to wear it if I'm going somewhere special or whatever the case may be it's a nice addition into your collection and so with Capitola they do have a number of colors that you can get this in in silver in gold in rose gold and they even have like a dark maroon type of color which is new and I believe it comes in black too and this is for both men and women so in the same place with cleaning it you just kind of soak it with warm water and soap and get all the grime out of the little mesh band but yes it is absolutely beautiful I've had it for over two years I believe now and it's still in good condition the next brand that I usually purchase from is Cali Tiger. Now this is a new jewelry brand to me, but it's something that I've quickly fallen in love with. The first ring I have is the Roberta ring. This one is actually really cool because it has that little sleek design. It has kind of a braided effect on one side and it has a little gold and black detailing as well. This one has quickly become one of my favorite pieces. I will link them down below if I can find them. I know that for some of them, they may not still be available, but I'll see what I can do. All of the rings that I got are in a size six as well for reference. The next ring is the Nova ring. Now this is a beautiful gold rectangle ring as well. And I love this one to add onto my outfits when I really wanna make a statement. This one is super beautiful and it just makes me feel a little bit more expensive <laughs> and chic. The sister ring to this one is the L ring and this one is a diamond shape. Same effect, I don't wear them on the same hand at the same time but this one also gives that nice standout statement piece without being too extra and in your face. It's 
which I love. The next one is the Aria Chain Necklace. Now this is kind of like a snake necklace. I got mine in the size of a choker, but they definitely have different sizings. Um, but I really like this one because it's just super simple. I like to wear it with t-shirts and um, even when I have like off the shoulder type of shirts as well, I think it complements your chest and your neck very nicely. And whenever I'm wearing button up shirts too, I love to keep it underneath. So it's kind of like a peekaboo. And the last one from Cali Tiger is the letter necklace. Now this one has an L for Lakeisha obviously, but I was looking for something that has my name on it or something that has my lettering on it. I think that that's a staple piece in your Julia collection, so it's something I wanted to get my hands on. And this one is super cute, especially with sweaters. I love wearing this one with crewnecks. The next couple of pieces are ones that I picked up from Etsy. So the first store is Chic in Gold, and this is a Zodiac necklace. I was looking for Zodiac necklaces for such a long time, but every one that I found was like way too expensive. This one I specifically know is around $35 because I was looking it up on the website. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. The only thing I don't like about it is the clasp on the back because you have to pull it so long. So when my nails are a bit longer, it definitely tends to break my index finger. And as you can see right now, my index finger is broken. But it's fine. <laughs> Don't be fine. Um, it's super cute. It's a really just a timeless piece too. And of course I have it in cancer because I am a cancer. The next Etsy store is called Little Stars Jewelry and I have three rings from them. The first one is the Zir what? Zirconia Stone. This is just a simple band with a little bit of a diamond stone in the inside. It's really delicate. I love using this to stack whenever I'm doing my jewelry stockings, even with the other rings that I mentioned before. The second one from them is a plain band. This one, of course, plain gold. It's a band that you can stack. I think it looks really elegant and classy. Sometimes I like wearing just one of that and another stacking ring on the other hand, and it just really looks very minimalistic. The last one from this brand is the Hammered Band. This one is another classic. It gives a little bit more interest into the jewelry pieces that you're wearing on your hands. The next Etsy store is called Miss Bui Bui. And um, I got a dainty ring from them as well. This is a simple stacked band. Um, there's a, a couple that came in the set and I love using these ones to stack my jewelry as well. The next company is called Objects with a K. And so the first thing I got from there is this Aurora ring. I usually don't like silver jewelry, but I really thought that this one looked really nice in a silver. Anything that has to do with like a diamond or kind of looks like a wedding band, I really enjoyed having that, um, that shade. Now, when I did post it on Instagram, everyone thought that I was engaged and I'm like, guys, guys, stop asking me, you know, it hasn't happened yet. It's okay, but this one is really cute and I love that the stone, I love the size of the stone. I'm not quite sure if that's the wedding band that I would choose to get married in, but I do like how it appears on your hand and that's why I chose it. If I'm going out, it's a beautiful detractor from like people when they start asking you questions. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Just do a quick switcheroo to the other hand and you'll be good to go, no questions asked. The next ring is the Signum Cross. Now I thought this one was really cool because it's kind of like a statement piece, but of course it's still dainty. It just crosses over the fingers so beautifully. I love wearing this one on my index finger or on my middle finger. I think it looks so beautiful and it just stands out. Sometimes I'll just wear that one by itself as a statement piece. The last ring that I got from there is the Para ring, and I thought this one was so beautiful. It's like a little beautiful gemstone. I specifically chose the pink just because I'm drawn to it. Um, it reminds me of rose quartz, and that's one of my favorite stones, so that's the color that I got it in. But I really do love it with the gold. I think it really helps it stand out a little bit more, and I always get a lot of compliments when I wear it. The last company is Majuri. This is a Canadian brand that I've talked about multiple times on my YouTube channel. I got my mom to get from there. I got my best friend to shop from there. Like I love this brand so freaking much. Please sponsor me. So the first one is the Trillion Cut Necklace. This is by far my favorite necklace and you'll see me wear this in pretty much every single video on this channel. Um, unfortunately though, this specific one that I purchased that was around I believe around $85 or so is no longer in stock. 
or I don't think they carry it because I've combed through the website and I'm not seeing it there, unfortunately. So I will link in the description the closest one to it or the one they've updated to. The next is the dot necklace. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. This one, unfortunately, also was discontinued for some reason, but they do have a similar one that has like little jewels on it instead of just being plain gold, which I think is really cute too. But I love wearing this one when I'm wearing my hair back like this. I think it looks so good when the shoulders are just being shown and like you can just see the necklace. I think it's so pretty. So one of my favorites. Last but not least, we have the oval necklace. Now this is a longer hanging chain and I love wearing this one with like turtlenecks and sweaters or if I'm wearing a blazer and there's like a solid piece underneath, I'll put that necklace on. I think it's so timeless, it's so beautiful and it pretty much goes with everything. So anytime we're wearing crewnecks, sweaters, blazers, turtlenecks, this is the one that I run towards. So those are the jewelry pieces that I have. Please let me know any jewelry stories that you guys love because I'm always looking to expand my collection. Remember to click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you, lovely ladies and gents, in the next video. Bye!